we've made it as far as Innsbruck and um, the stadium here has absolutely spectacular views as you can see. Um, we're high up in the Tribune in the temporary stand here and it's just out of this world. You can see the ski jump behind me, you should be able to make that out. And then moving across over in this direction is just breathtaking, breathtaking stuff. So even if the football isn't much to write home about, people should still uh, have a lot to see here. Now one of the questions down in this part of the world is whether the public is really going to respond to this tournament because down here it's not really football country. Down here really you're talking about winter sports as the most popular pastimes down here. 1976 the Winter Olympic Games were staged down here and um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's really going to feel like a major football tournament while it's on down here. Anyway, we'll see. Let's hope so. We now reach the border between Austria and Switzerland. We've just crossed now. Uh, the, um, we've done all four stadiums in Austria, uh, but uh, we're now just coming to Switzerland where most of the better matches are actually taking place in the first phase. We've got most of the big teams staying in Switzerland. Uh, so well, let's have a look and we'll see in a few, uh, over the next couple of days, what the stadiums look like in Switzerland. This is Zurich, a very famous stadium. This is the Letzigrund. Yeah. And um, this is um, obviously more a track and field stadium than it is a football stadium. I think, I think uh, no one would argue with that. Um, normally, I don't know what you think, normally I really don't like football stadiums with running tracks around them. I think it tends to spoil the atmosphere. I uh, went to games at uh, the old Olympic Stadium in Munich, uh, in Berlin, in Stuttgart, and I think you always have the problem where you just don't quite get the full-on football atmosphere. Now here, what they've done is they've, they've um, added some extra seats at the very front of all the way along the ground. And it does mean that on the sides at least, the fans are going to be pretty close to the pitch. So I wonder if the atmosphere in fact won't be a problem at this venue. Now um, this venue is actually pretty striking. It's probably the most striking venue we've seen so far. So, uh, you know, the architect apparently said he wanted to make it look like um, uh, a shell that had been sunk into the sand. Um, and it is pretty nice I would say. We're here in um, Basel, which is a very important stadium. This is where we're going to have the opening match of the tournament between uh, Switzerland and the Czech Republic. Uh, also two quarterfinals and the semi-final. This is the biggest venue in Switzerland um, and uh, it's the home of uh, FC Basel. Um, and, uh, this is a very uh, tight ground, almost feels like an English stadium I think. You've got uh, the seats nice and close to the pitch, so it should be a, a fairly interesting atmosphere I think during the tournament. Now one very curious aspect of this stadium is that up there you have what's, that, what's an old people's home and um, they were just telling us that there's an actual, uh, there's a box there that they have access to so the people who are in the home can, uh, can actually watch matches from there which is one of the most privileged positions in Euro 2008 I would have thought. So um, yeah, very interesting, very interesting little, little stadium I think. I'm here in Geneva home of uh, Servette and we've reached the end of our stadium tour. This is the eighth and final one we've seen and everyone uh, who I've spoken to agrees that uh, the Swiss stadiums all look uh, a lot better from a football fan's point of view than the ones in Austria. This is another absolutely fine little stadium for fans. Around about 30,000 I think will be here for when uh, Portugal, uh, Czech Republic and Turkey play their matches here and uh, this should generate plenty of atmosphere with those teams I would thought. Now, just looking back on the tour as a whole, I think we saw in, in Austria that the stadiums felt a little bit uh, rickety in parts with the temporary stands. Uh, the running track around the ground at uh, the Ernst Happel Stadium, for example, might not make it uh, you know, the best stadium we've ever seen for a final. But everyone here, and myself included, absolutely, have been really impressed by the stadiums in Switzerland.